Hello, it's Sarah. And I just wanted to come back real quick. I have um, the pieces all finished. Um, I love it. I think it turned out fantastic. And I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys and girls who do this kind of work and who know um, the effort it takes and, you know, the love that we put into it. And thank you so much for your support. And I will charge, I'm going to charge 30 and I think that's fair. Hopefully, I just want to give it a good home, although I really love it and would keep it. <laughs> um, I would put a lovely beach vacation picture in here or something. Um, anyway, um, I also got a comment. I think it, her name is Ferry on um, Etsy. She commented about um, making sure to charge the appropriate price and also that when she does a, a tile mosaic she wondered how she, um, I filled in the cracks and so I wanted to show you guys I'm going to zoom in a little bit um, I after I glued everything um, I used a lot more smaller pieces on this one which was kind of cool and it was fun but I definitely left more little um, little gaps between the tiles so as you can see I'm gonna start here in this corner and we'll just go through it just like I did um, the first ones but these little gold pieces are these are called the grout sticks that I make and this is out of black clay and Lori Micah is the one who started this she's the one I got it from and I have put um, gold leafing on top of the clay and then you bake it and these, when you cut them, they're very easy to cut. I'll, I use my tonic scissors. And I have this little space here, there, there. Um, there's a tiny one right here. And I just kind of hold the clay there and see how big I need it. And just cut it off. And sometimes it'll have a little jagged edge. And sometimes you can kind of trim it down. <clears throat> and then fit it right into where you need it. I also added ball chain in quite a few spots on this one and that is just this and I believe this is the Tim Holtz stuff I got I have I have this <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry I am uh, congested I have I guess it's the copper color or the brass color and it also comes in silver so um, I use the gold and it's a pretty big gauge this may not be the Tim Holtz because this seems like it's a bigger gauge than those um, but I use that quite a bit because you can cut it so like here's a little piece this looks like black like hematite Ooh, that's pretty I didn't even know that was in there <laughs> um, and again I cut that with my tonic scissors but you could use a jewelry this is what I use my shank cutter I have three pieces of chain there I put it in a lot of spots. Um, here's another piece of the um, grout stick. This is a, a piece of this chain. One of these, I think. Yep. I use these quite a bit, and you can buy this in chain form, but this is just a pair of earrings that was on clearance. And I almost used a piece of this today, too, but I ended up, I just went with the ball chain. Um, but I cut that off there, and I put it in there because it fit perfect. And then, if you look here, you'll see my little, um, what are these called? Micro beads. I have the metallic set, and these are Recollections brand from Michaels, and I have the colored set. They only have these two sets that I know of um, but you can get them they did have some blues in here but I thought I'm gonna go with silver because I didn't use any silver to fill in anything I'd use the gold leafing and um, the gold ball chain so I have silver micro beads and I'm gonna zoom in a little closer you can see them here and here and a couple here and I use glossy accents and I just squirt that in the channel and then I take a little piece of straw and I scoop up the seed bead or the micro beads and I put them in that way with the straw I don't know why 
but I did that around here a couple times too. I have some more ball chain here, here, some more of grout stick, and I have grout stick here. Sometimes, like I left it here, I didn't need to put anything there. I put ball chain here and a little bit of micro beads there ball chain and a little ball chain and micro beads here but I didn't fill in every nook and cranny there were a few other places I could have put it but I didn't I didn't want to I just wanted a little those extra big places I just filled and then grout stick micro beads and that's about it. I have micro beads here too. Just a little bit. So that's how I do it. Um, I don't always do it. For instance, in this, this is a mosaic that I did. I don't know if I'm, I want to start putting the date on these. So I'm going to take this one out of the picture. I love this one though. I really think it turned out so awesome. Um, you know, it's, it is. It's a lot. When you add up all the charms and you add up, you know, the buttons and add up the clay and you add up the frame and the paint and everything, it's a lot. <clears throat> Plus the work that you put into it. So hopefully someone will really enjoy it. That's what I work because I loved making it, you know. But like for this one, I have nothing in the in the gaps. I have nothing and I've left a pretty substantial gap between most of the tiles but because the tiles are so big it kind of lends itself to that and, it, and I just thought the composition was okay the way it was I didn't have to um, I don't know I just didn't feel like it needed it um, let me see I have that's really all I have near me this one is another one, and I didn't put anything in the gaps again. I just, this is a very um, kind of monotone one. Life is beautiful, and I just left even, pretty even spacing um, all around the piece. And that's it. Even around the edge, because this is just on a block of wood. So I left a little frame of the background showing through too. So I think, let's see, I definitely have, I've used the micro beads a bit more. I thought about it for the, um, these, the, uh, these guys and Honestly, I filled in a couple of the gaps with bead chain on here. I have I had pink ball chain. Can you see that? I'll come in a little bit. I have pink here, here, here. And then there's two beads. These are E beads. That's it. I did and I picked these up after I had used the micro beads on the other piece and I thought well I could put them in there's definitely like a that's a biggish gap um maybe a few here <clears throat> but I decided not to I just thought it looked okay I didn't nothing was really calling out to me <coughs> as far as um you know it looked like it needed to be filled so let's look at this one this one I did, I used the gold ball chain just right here. And that's a pretty fairly big gap. Um, let's see, I used a piece of, a different piece of uh, bling chain and cut off one piece for here. But I just decided I didn't want to put any more. I, I think the gaps are pretty, um, space, they're spaced pretty evenly. So I decided not to do it. I used the grout sticks here and there, just like one, two. That was it. So this was mostly filled with tiles. Um, yeah. 
I really tried to make some smaller tiles. This one, I made these smaller applique tiles, the little um, jewelry finding tiles. So I tried to find small enough pieces that I wouldn't have that many gaps. But, um, you know, I think this one actually, because it's an ocean theme, it might just kind of be better with the extra goodies in it too because it's got I don't know I think I definitely have bigger pieces on this one I have all of these are much bigger um, yeah I didn't have really big big pieces on this but anyway so that's what I do to fill in my little gaps um, and like this, I mean, it, it wasn't that bad, this little gap, but I thought, no, I want to add some. And, you know, I try to make sure I add it, like there's really only ball chain here on this side of the frame, but then I have ball chain, ball chain, ball chain, ball chain, ball chain. You know, so it, it, I don't know, but I think it just all plays together. Because of this color charm, you can really play with that, you know. And then I had plenty of silver on here too, so I, that's why I chose the silver microbeads. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. And I think anything goes. Honestly, that's why I like to get these little different kinds. I had this blue chain that I almost used. Because I don't know when I'll ever use it. Where'd it go now? See? This one. I got this one clearance. It was $1.99. I bought it. I don't know why. I have a green one like this, too. It's like a lime green. And I almost, and probably this would have been the best... The best piece I could have used it for, and I think I was going to put a piece there, um, you know, but I just didn't. I ended up going with the ball chain. So anything goes, you know, whatever. This is a mixed media mosaic, and it is mixed media. There's plastic, metal, um, jewelry, you know, all different types of stuff. So um, whatever makes you happy. I give you permission. So I hope that answers some questions. And again, thank you guys so much for your support. Um, I love them, and I think someone else will love them too. So we'll see what happens. I'll let you know. All right, thanks for watching.